Well, we're really fortunate to have a redevelopment going on. We've got a new chemo suite will be built, six chairs. So um, that's going to be a fantastic thing. But of course, there's lots of little things that really won't be able to be provided as part of that process. And Dry July provides those extra funds for the just those little comforts and extra things for the patient. do get criticised sometimes, you know, things just happen in the city. This is not like that. So the regional hospitals are on board and they're regional communities because it's everyone out there who can support this. Um, there's not many of us that don't know someone who's been touched by or, or personally affected by cancer and a lot of those people have chemo here in Mount Gambier, lots of them. Uh, so that they, we're able to provide those little extras for them through this wonderful fundraising. Well, at the moment we have lots and lots of chemo patients. We're one of the pioneering hospitals in that, but we only have a really tiny facility. We've just got a converted room, a couple of chairs. It's a real juggle to get everyone through. So um, this will mean we've got a whole suite, six chairs, um, all the beautiful facilities that go with that. And it'll be established in a new area here on site uh, within the building. Uh, and that'll give us the ability to much more readily cater for not just higher numbers, but in much greater comfort and space. Um, and you know, just an ideal service. So and that'll that'll come on board sometime in the next year or so. Hi, it's Paul Flynn from the Hospital Research Foundation here for Dry July. It's great to have Mount Gambier Hospital on board. The people of Mount Gambier community should get behind their hospital. Go dry for July. We'll do some good for cancer sufferers. Cheers.